Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to yet another conference. All honor, glory, and praise be to our one and only Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Well, um, the filth has fallen. <laughs> the filth has fallen and their lies and their deceptions and, you know, the evil has been exposed as it pertains to um, all the trash that have come up against me. And uh, I want somebody out there to know or, you know, so I'll put it this way. Somebody out there, you need to know that, uh, you know, you don't need to worry about any lies or deceptions that um, your enemies are spreading about you or telling on you. I mean, they feel like they have power against you, perhaps because, I don't know, there, there's a certain cockiness that your enemies have, I feel. I know my enemies, they're, they're, they have a certain cockiness. I don't know why. Because no weapon form shall prosper, and it didn't, and it won't, and it never will. And uh, they feel like when they come together that they have uh, this strength in numbers. That don't mean nothing to a chick like me. And they don't have no strength in numbers against me. Because as long as I've got a mouth, I will always refute what is said against me or about me. I know my own truth. I've lived my own truth. I am living my own truth. I am me. So who better to uh, talk about me than me? So I would say, if anybody wanted to know anything about me, come ask me. Not a hating, lying, filthy piece of trash that would just be out there spreading lies because they don't like me. And, you know, of course, that's nothing that I would fret about because I don't like them either. And a lot of the filth that's out there, I don't even know them, you know. And a lot of people, I may know of them, but I still don't know them and they don't know me. And the thing that gets me about... Um, an adversary of brothers and sisters is that uh, I, I I can only speak from my own experience uh, with the trash out there. Uh, they don't even know you a lot of times. People look at people, they just feel like they have so much power within themselves that they can say anything, do anything, and there will never be any repercussions. And then for a lot of you, you know, people may try to size you up. They figure, oh, for you ladies out there, you might be petite, or a lot of you, you may not be petite, but just because... Um, you know, some people just feel like that they can still overpower you. And they may be, have the same body size as you. You know, but just some people are just so uh, arrogant and cocky within themselves. That they, they just actually feel like that it is within their power to come to put their mouth on you and come up against you and defeat you. And it is not. You know, and they, they want other people to play into their foolery. And there are people out there that are dumb enough, stupid enough, and ignorant enough to play into their foolery. And, um, you know, I know as far as it pertains to me, the, the people that spread lies on me, they don't even know me. Um, I'm not saying that I'm antisocial, but I'm not in association with the filth that was out there spreading lies on me and telling lies on me, you know. But a lot of times people feel like, that other people have their backs and they feel like well they can say what they want to say and they just feel like they're big bad tough but um only thing i can say to them is whore i feel like I, I i know that i'm big bad tough but see what you think you are i know i am as it pertains to being bad you understand what i'm saying and i mean bad in a good way i mean in bad in the sense of if you step to me you'll only do it once if you lie on me, you can do it multiple times, but my one truth will abolish your lie just like that. So when you lie, I truth just like that. Oh my gosh, am I talking to somebody out there? Perhaps somebody out there need a word of motivation, to a word of encouragement. You got a mouth and your enemies got a mouth. Put your truth out there. People have eyes, people have intelligence, you know. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, it, I know that the group that targeted me, various groups, they did that because they're punks, because they are afraid of me. Because I'm telling you to this day, nobody has stuck to me to do anything. People may be running their mouths, but it's way over there. Because it definitely won't be way over here, ever. You know, and um, especially if for those of you out there, you know, I'm speaking, I guess I should especially to those of you out there if you're always by yourself or you appear to be by yourself you know people feel like they can pick on you oh well pick on the person that, that appears to be always by his or herself that's their fatal mistake right there because you know what that's the toughest chick that you could ever roll up on 
that's the toughest dude that you could ever roll up on. The toughest because they, most likely people like that, they always know what's going on around them. It is the fools that, that um, collectively come together to come up against one person that don't have it together, don't know what's going on around them. They got too many busybodies just like themselves around them to see. So anyway, you know, and like I said, I mean, I'm not about violence or anything like that, but there's not an individual out there that told a lie on my name that if they that if they come up in my face, I won't bust them in their face. They know I will do it. I don't care if it's male or female. They know I will do it. And I'm not saying I'd run up on a man, but I tell you what, I know what will take you down. You can believe that. You know, and I, I know even for the individual that, um, and I'm not going to convey too much in this conference because, like I said, I'm, I have to monitor my information that I put out. But, um, you know, that individual just tried that because, you know, they knew that they couldn't see anybody standing with me. You know, and um, they knew who was or was not involved in my life. And see, that's a punk. So this person, and then this is also somebody that thought I was going to, um, I guess he thought I was going to box him like a man or something. But I, I, if I can recollect correctly, I think when they went in, when the person went in the joint, somebody boxed them. I think they're the ones that got got, you know, you know, and, uh, so hey, I mean. Like I said, that, that person was pretending to be gangster. Well, I am gangster. So what they were pretending to be, I really was. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys, you just wouldn't believe. <laughs> it's, I guess it's for another platform. You guys just would not believe that demon. You just trying to play God in my life. With God sitting there right there with me. Oh my gosh. People just don't know who they're messing with. I could tell y'all some things. But this is not the time. <laughs> I could tell you guys some things. Oh my gosh. That individual actually thought. That it was within its power. To take power and authority over my life. I know the devil to be a liar. I know the devil to be a liar. That bald-headed monkey, wherever it is. And, you know, I shouldn't even call it a monkey because I don't want to disrespect the animal kingdom by comparing anything that's out there in the animal kingdom to that piece of filth or any other filthy enemy I have out there. I had I held a conference and I called it Gorilla High. But you know what? I don't even want to insult a little gorilla by comparing that busted, ugly trash that attended high school with me to a gorilla. You know, and I had going on the internet and I had seen a, go a gorilla mother interacting with her baby gorilla and I, I felt some kind of way about it because I'm like you know what those animals are too precious to be compared to the type of trash that are my enemies and then um, from what I understand there was um, some piece of trash out there that I used to hang with see that that's the thing about hanging with whores they develop some type of familiarity with you in their own mind. So then, you know, in their own mind, you live rent free, you know, and um, they feel like they're familiar with you. So they'll take things that they, they will take that familiarity that they thought they had with you years ago and they'll try to travel throughout the years with it. So now they still think they know you. They didn't even know you then for a lot of them. I guess some of you can resonate with my story a little bit, but there was a particular tramp who, um, I guess she thought she knew me, but she didn't. You know, I mean, she she gave, I know I had seen her um, in a department store. And she was one of the ones that was, I guess, had put all this conspiracy, helped put all this conspiracy stuff together against me. But that whore don't know, I'm, hey, I can show her better than I can tell her who I am. I don't know that tramp. I didn't even know it then. And all that old back in the day stuff, all that old hanging out back in the day stuff, that was then, this is now. You know, and even then, I had my boundaries. I didn't let those tramps in, inside my personal boundaries. You know, I mean, what was done in the streets, hanging out in the streets, was in the streets. And I've never hung out in the streets, but, you know, I was around people. You know, I wasn't doing what they were doing. I was just there, standing there, or whatever. But, um, yeah, I guess she thought she knew me. I guess the whore thought I was a punk. I'm far from a punk trick. You can believe that. And this is the same tramp that... <laughs> 